Hello, this is an assessment of a Bluthner style four grand piano that's five foot long and uh, made in 1936. It's a client's piano. They're asking us to polish the piano and also to assess it to see if there's any other work that needs doing. And the piano clearly does need polishing. Uh, they do want it to be French polished. Uh, French polishing black is the problem is that uh, it's very, very difficult. It takes longer than um, French polishing wood because black shows everything, whereas a wood colour, let's look at this wood colour here, you, you can see with the grain, it, as it were, hides slight imperfections on this, this, the um, level surface. So it's not so important. But on French polishing black, it'll not hide anything at all. So that's the problem with French polishing black. It does take longer, about 80 hours, unfortunately. It's about 70 hours on a, black, on a wood colored one. And it definitely needs repolishing, there's no doubt about it. It'd be interesting to know if it was originally a wood color underneath. There we've, we can see a bit of bare wood. Um, I'm not convinced it was wood color, but the normal color for Blutner is mahogany. Now here's a typical mahogany, flamed kind of mahogany, uh, which is this is a bit slightly lighter than the typical one. This is one that we're we're working on. It's a stock piano, and uh, is actually sold. But we do get these in very often. We do particularly like the Bluthner style four grand pianos. They're very popular too. This is a Bluthner grand piano, uh, again a style four, which has been refinished in black polyester. Now. That's the finish we recommend on black pianos in the sense that it's slightly less expensive and obviously can come out as really perfect, typical modern piano finish, but it isn't obviously integral to what it used to be like originally. Before we could put the piano on its feet, the thread in one of these screws was completely gone. Uh, what happened was one of the screws was shorter and uh, the short the long screws put in the short thread and so on. And Well, we had to put a piece of... Um, we had to insert uh, a new piece of wood underneath, and that's been done, so it's fine now. We have to actually plug the hole and then re-drill it. Now this piano benefits from really perfect ivory keys, which is excellent. And the piano's been fully restored. We'll look at that in a minute. It's been generally very well restored. You can see how the fingernails have dug in at the back there, and also on the side of these keys, you see how much the piano's worn quite excessively really, but it has been reconditioned since then. We'd normally black in these obviously because um, cosmetically it looks a bit strange to have that wood. wood. It's amazing how the fingers can actually scrape enough off the, the sharps to look like that, but it, the piano is excessively played and that's what happens. You can see there's no way of just making good this polish, it's completely gone. Obviously um, water I would have think on here is the problem. And there's a line going across here, I'm not quite sure. When we strip it, we'll see what's happening there, whether that's a veneer join, um, but not normally on a piano. Hopefully we can um, make that really smooth because it needs to be extremely smooth to get black French polish on, otherwise it won't look right at all. As I say, if we polyester it, then that's easier. And the side there, you can see the bits of veneer missing as well. So it can be done. So the piano has been extensively restored. It has larger tuning pins. The tu rest plank hasn't been changed. That's the tuning block. Um, and we can see at the back here, though, it has been taken off. I think that was to apply the, the black polish. Um, you can see there's a screw missing here and another screw missing here. So we'll have to try and find the right size screws. They're quite chunky screws and not a, not a modern design, but I think we can manage to find them. And as you can see, it's been well restored though and uh, very very well done, so that's, that's encouraging. Now the piano's had new hammers, shanks and rollers as we've mentioned many times before. That's what we would do. It's the right thing to do to a piano. Um, the, the main work that's done on the action is to change hammers, shanks and rollers. And they're Renner parts as well, which is encouraging. Uh, so, uh, actually, normally, I think Blutner's used Arbel a lot more than they use Renner when they restored their own pianos, but, uh, say, Renner, excellent hammers, and the, the tone of these hammers is wonderful, so that's very encouraging indeed. I've marked all the hammers because I uh, wanted to see, first of all, if, if they were put on straight, which they are, you can tell if they're not because the one side will be much stronger than the other when they're marked. Uh, we marked them with carbon paper, as I've mentioned recently, and... Uh, See that one there though is a bit to the left and uh, so that needs and this one here so marking them you can see if they're 
perhaps and that that one too so they could do it move, be move over moved over slightly so we can move the hammer over like this and then just tighten it up afterwards so you watch the hammer move over hopefully we can get that to move and um, there we are and obviously you've got to do it by eye and then you can present it to the string and see if it's correct um, and then you could remark the hammers afterwards let's move this one slightly as well I think that's probably enough Sorry, I didn't uh, get the video in the right place there. I'll just move this one as well so you can see what's going on. There we are. And then tighten up the screws afterwards. These screws need to be really tight. On Blutner's there, some, a lot of pianos have a little pin here which you can, which holds it straight. Um, Blutner's don't do that, so you need to be very rough here. Very often sand, sandpaper or glass paper is put on there to make it a nice rough hold and then these screws need to be as tight as possible. They're new screws as you can see so there's certainly a lot of um, very uh, good work done on this piano and if we watch the regulation that springs are regulated very very well but that's encouraging too. So there's just very minor adjustments there and also it needs lubricant underneath here. I noticed I can't see any evidence of French chalk or talc uh, or Teflon as your preference then would normally go on there just to make it just a little bit smoother um, that'll reduce the action weight I should have mentioned before and I forgot to that the action weight is slightly heavy we'll have a look at that now so the, the down weight uh, that's uh, six one pound coins on top of each other that's 52.5 grams and that's about what it is it's perhaps even 53 or something more it's, it's a bit too much persuasion but they're all they're all quite similar on, on that weight. That's slightly lighter, I think. And up here as well, where it should be perhaps slightly lighter, is also going down. Oh, that is slightly lighter. But, um, so it's about, say, we're nice to come down by about four grams. And I think probably lubricating uh, the centre with dry lubricant and then uh, applying talc, maybe that's enough to reduce it by that much. Uh, we'll have to see, but it certainly can be reduced, and we would set our pianos about 47, 48 grams normally. The set-off regulation is good, I don't think we can improve that very much, and the drop screw as well, so the main regulation points have been done extremely well, so just minor refinements really. Uh, by the way, this also has Renner hammers, as you can see, there's a number here, if you can pick that out, and Renner number their hammers like that. And it would have said Renner there, but it's been uh, sanded off because this has been sanded to more, quite correctly, this has been taken to more, uh, to some wood taken off to lighten the hammer a little bit. Some of the hinges are slightly on the tight side as well, so uh, that will also refine the weight a little bit. So everything will help to bring it down by two or three, four grams if we're able to do that. So it's an assessment of a Blutner style four gram piano uh, that has come in for definitely for repolishing. And French polishing on black, as we mentioned, is uh, always very, very difficult to get perfect and may be problematic slightly with the, the cracks in the veneer, but I think we'll probably manage that. It's easier to polyester the piano. But this piano has been very well restored. We would change the rest plank automatically when we restore a piano, and this one hasn't had a new rest plank, but uh, nevertheless, it's, uh, the restoration is excellent, the tuning pins are tight, so that's very encouraging. Touch weight just slightly heavier than we'd normally like to set it out, and maybe also get it down by lubrication, and if the client wants it to be lighter, obviously we can do key weighting as well. Very well voiced. We talked about the cosmetics on the side of the keys too. Um, that's certainly something we would normally do. Um, goes along with the cosmetic work generally, so that's to be done. But generally, a really excellent piano. As I say, we try and source this model of piano ourselves. Thank you very much for listening.